Hey Money Movers, welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Nadia. Before we get started today, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. If you want to start investing, there's a link in my description box below. One is for Webull and the other is for Coinbase. And if you want to start investing in the stock market, those are two platforms that you can use to invest. And everybody wants to make some money. So um, if you click on those links, download the apps, deposit $100 with Webull, you can get up to two free stocks worth up to $1,850. And with Coinbase, if you deposit $100, you can get some free Bitcoin. But with all that aside, let's go ahead and tell you what today, tell you what I'm talking about today. Um, we're going to be talking about dividends. So stay tuned. Say hey, Nadia, what's up? We making money moves. Who making money moves? We making money moves. You making money moves? We making money moves. We making money moves. We making Welcome back, Money Movers. Like I said, we're going to be talking about dividends today. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to say thank you um, to all of you. I really love how much you guys engage with me on my page, on my Instagram, like anywhere you guys can find me. I love when you ask me questions or when you, or even when people go back to my old videos, when they find my channel and start asking questions, I do go back and look at old comments. It means a lot to me that you guys are engaged and like what I'm saying, and hopefully you're learning some things and making some money. Um, but like I said, we're here to talk about dividends today. I just wanted to say thank you again. So um, before I start suggesting some dividends, I want to explain what that is. So dividends are basically, it's when a company pays you a percentage per year. So you're getting money just from investing in a company. So in order to find out which, com not all companies give out dividends, but you can look that up if you just type in the ticker symbol online, um, with the on Yahoo Finance or on Google, literally if you just Google a stock name, if you look at the bottom, it should show you their dividend yield. And um, there's two that I really like, but there's one, one of them's Coca-Cola, and that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. So, um, I know I said it's when a company gives you money, but this is different than, this is different than just the um, value of a stock increasing. This is actually that company giving you money. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about how that works and why I like Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola's dividends yields, dividend yields have been increasing steadily over the past few years. Right now they pay a 3% dividend, which obviously is not that crazy high, but it's a pretty stable company and I think you'll still make money um, regardless of the dividend yield. So I'm looking for ones where not only do I think you'll make um, good money with the dividend yield, but I think that not only am I looking for companies with dividend yields, I'm looking for ones that are still good investments as well. And I mean, Warren Buffett is invested in Coca-Cola. Uh, their ticker symbol is KO, Coca-Cola, you know, like the drink. Um, but like I was saying, Warren Buff Buffett is invested in Coca-Cola, so he must know something, uh, <laughs> probably more than I know, but I think that's one good sign for a company. Um, but I do want to note that Coca-Cola stock just took a dip. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he was doing an interview. He's a soccer pl football player, soccer player, for those of you who keep up with sports. And he mentioned that he doesn't drink Coke. He's like water only. He doesn't let his kids drink it. And unfortunately, the stock price did take a hit and the company uh, lost some money after he said that. But to me, this is a good buying opportunity because yes, although that, you know, uh, Coca-Cola did take a bit of a hit, I don't think it's going to be like that forever. Coca-Cola has been dominating the beverage industry for quite some time now. I know they had issues um, with pollution and kind of to combat that, they started taking a lot more environmental and social <laughs> ESG, environmental, social and governance with their company to kind of make up for that. So they've partnered with different um, companies that really care about helping the environment and they've just been doing a lot of things to expand kind of and not just be uh, soda. So they, d they aren't just pop, they have, mm, I don't know where you're from, if you say soda or pop, I just kind of said both. Um, but with Coca-Cola, it's interesting because they kind of took matters into their own hands to help with the, like I was saying, with the health concerns. 
You know, they would come up with diet or they even expanded into other types of beverages. They actually just launched an alcoholic beverage. I don't know if you guys have had Tapo Chico. Um, it's the seltzer that came out. I actually didn't realize this was a Coca-Cola product, but it is. And they also have um, invested in Costa, which is more of a company outside of the U.S. For my view viewers who are not from the u.s maybe you've heard of it uh they they sell coffee and this kind of helps address some of the health and wellness concerns of pop just being too sugary you know with coffee yes caffeine um people may have concerns with that but less concerns in the amount of sugars that are going into a bottle of or a can of pop so like i was saying although coca-cola did take a hit with that with some pollution before um, with concerns about their how healthy it is and with what Ronaldo just said really recently yes coca-cola did take a hit but they have come back from those issues in the past and they're still a very dominant company so I do think it's a good investment right now it's sitting at $55 and according to some different analysts the upside is predicted to be $64 and the low is predicted to be 57 and it's 60 on average but like I said right now it's only 55 so I think this is a really good buying opportunity for coca-cola again that's ticker symbol ko and you can find coca-cola on um, Weeble and again there's a link in my description box below they have a great deal going on right now so I take advantage of that while I can too and with dividend investing what I would recommend is Take that money the company gives you, uh, however they give it out, whether it's maybe it's quarterly. If they give you um, money quarterly, then take that money and reinvest it into the stock market. Now, I don't know your financial situation. You may need the cash, but you'll see that your money will be compounded at a higher growth rate if you're taking that cash from the dividend yields and reinvesting it into the stock market. There are ways that you can have this done automatically. One of them is called drip, but I like to do it myself. I actually bought some Coca-Cola today. Like I said, I saw this as a buying opportunity and I wanted to get in on that. And I'm also trying to broaden my um, portfolio past just EVs and just tech, because like I've said, that's where I'm heavily invested and I would like to broaden my portfolio. And this is one of the ways that I wanna do that. I wanna start paying more attention to dividend investing. And I think that's a good uh, trick for those of you who are just starting to invest. If you're starting off investing small amounts of money, something like this can help you have more money to invest. Or, you know, do like a side hustle and use that money to invest. DoorDash, I hear, uh, pays really well. That's not something that I'm doing, but I am gonna start um, finding some other streams of income for myself. I have some things that I'm working on as well because i want more money to invest i think before i started investing i really liked I, I knew how to save money but i really liked spending money on nice things and designer and don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't ever buy yourself a nice a nice gucci a nice louis but what i'm saying is right now if you're trying to build wealth that money is better spent investing in the market or investing in real estate or or your time is better spent building money. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that some ways are better than others to spend your money. And for me right now, it's more important to put my money into the market than it is really anywhere else. Another good company I wanted to talk about as far as dividend yields is Enbridge. Their ticker symbol is ENB. And it's worth looking at. They have a 7% dividend yield. Now, I didn't do a deep dive on this one the way that I did with Coca-Cola. And I'm not invested in it yet, but this is on my watch list. And like I said, if you do this consistently, where you're invested in different companies that give out um, good dividends, you can be taking that cash and reinvesting it. And this is just giving you more money to play with, more money to invest in. I also wanted to give another update on AMC. I'm still holding... Um, right when i went to film this video i saw the price start to come back up but i had posted on my instagram when the price was still low that i thought that was a good buying opportunity um i'm still holding i didn't buy any more today because like i said i bought some shares of coca-cola but i do think that amc it's just super important to me to keep holding because i don't want the uh hedge funds to win right now they aren't and i would like to keep it that way <laughs> so if you're in it uh our AMC apes were holding strong and I don't want to sell out of this one quite yet. I think it could still have room to grow. I want to be a part of the 
the short when it happens. I want to be a part of the squeeze. So uh, definitely stay tuned for more content like that. Again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. I know I kind of gave out a stock pick today, but the point of this video is really to explain dividend yields. And I, I do think that Coca-Cola is a, one of the safer things to invest in. They have been dominant in the beverage industry for a while, and I think that there could be room to grow with this one. Like I said, if you invest today, that's still giving you room um, for even the low forecast. You could still be making some money, and they give out dividends. So I do think this is a great investment. And I'm going to be paying attention to the stock market a little bit more and also still focusing on crypto because there is money to be made in lots of different areas. And I definitely want to cover them um, as I'm learning them and as I'm investing. You guys know I'm a beginner and you guys know I'm geared towards beginners, but I do have some great mentors who are helping me out and helping me make good decisions. So again, remember, we're making money moves. Have a good one. Bye.